Hey buddy, today we're gonna talk about service menus, AKA rate sheets. Service menus are a key part of the sales process when you're a freelancer, especially if you wanna go off of freelancing platforms like Upwork and Fiverr. So if you wanna learn more about how to make a freelance rate sheet slash freelance service menu, then keep watching. It's the Freelance Writer's Guide. If you're new here, welcome. This is the Freelance Writer's Guide, where we teach how to start and grow your freelance writing business. I'm Colleen Welsh, this is my thing. Um, a little bit about me, I'm a freelance copywriter who works in the beauty industry. Some of the clients I have worked with have included Gucci Beauty, Daisy Marc Jacobs, Milani, Olay, etc. Okay, let's get into it. Also, by the way, this is just gonna, I'm just gonna stand here and talk into the camera. I'm not gonna move around the house today because I have approximately one second to make this video before people come to my house for improv practice. So we're just gonna do it. We're just gonna get it done. Let's do it, let's do it. Done is better than perfect. Anyways, what is a freelance service menu? So a service menu quickly and concisely conveys the types of services that you offer as a freelancer and how much those services cost. So think about it like this. When you go to a restaurant, they have a menu so you know what you can order. If you went to a restaurant and they didn't have a menu, you wouldn't know what they had in the kitchen, you wouldn't know what the chef could prepare, you wouldn't know what to order. And it's the same way with clients when they're working with a freelancer. There is no set standard services that freelancers offer, there's no set rates, everybody's different. So if you don't communicate this to them directly, they have no way of knowing what you can do for them and how much it's gonna cost. And instead of having a long conversation with them and then creating a proposal for them, a freelance service menu allows you to quickly send them an email so they can get an idea of your rates and see if it matches their budget before they even have a conversation with you. Because what's the point of being on the phone for a half hour if they can't afford to work with you anyways? Physically, what a freelance service menu is, is it's usually a PDF. It has the services that you offer on it and how much they cost. That's what it looks like. Okay, but we'll get more into that in a little bit. So let's talk about how to make a freelance service menu slash rate sheet. Step one, figure out your hourly rate. If you're not sure what your hourly rate is, I recommend watching this video, which goes more into depth about what your rate should be as a freelance writer. But at a high level, your hourly rate is basically just how much money you wanna make divided by how much you wanna work. And you could do that at a year level, at a month level, at a week level, whatever. Just keep in mind that there's gonna be hours where you're working where you're not getting paid by clients when you're doing admin tasks like answering emails or bookkeeping, and you wanna take those into account when you are calculating your hourly rate. Additionally, there are some expenses that you will have as a freelancer that you do not have when you're a W-2 or nine to five employee. For example, you have to pay for your own health insurance and your tax situation is a little bit different. You might end up paying more in taxes. So you wanna make sure that your freelance writer rate is higher than what your hourly rate is at your nine to five job, if you have one. Step two is figure out what services you want to offer. Many beginner copywriters choose blog posts as their service. Why? Because, well, blog posts are pretty easy to write. It's pretty easy to see if a client could use your help with blog posts, because all you have to do is go to their website and see that their blog hasn't been updated for a while. And also we've all read like hundreds if not thousands of blog posts in our life so we kind of have a good idea of how they should be structured and what they should sound like but if blog posts don't appeal to you or you want to offer some additional services there's a whole wide world of freelance writing services some examples include emails website copy sales pages direct mail print advertising online advertising social media posts product descriptions product packaging etc and now that i'm saying all of this i feel like i should do a video on this so i will definitely put that on my calendar different services you could do and definitions of them maybe some examples or maybe i'll put that in the course anyways just thinking out loud step three create packages for each of those services. So this is like some basic sales psychology here. You give 
people a little bit of a discount if they buy more from you. You won't make as much per post, but you won't have to spend as much time looking for clients, which is one of those non-billable tasks that you have to do as a freelancer. So put together some packages of services that you think your clients would want. For example, if you write social media posts, you might have a package of 15 posts, 30 posts, and 60 posts per month for clients who want to post every other day, post daily, or post twice a day. Then you could give them like a 10% discount from your single post rate. Or actually what I would do is make the package one, your actual rate, and then the single one 10% more, but you know, that's just me. Step four, this is the last step, don't worry, is to actually build your service menu. So you wanna have something that looks professional, really nice design. I like to use Canva for this kind of thing because it's free and it works really well. If you already have a freelance writer portfolio website, Make sure that the branding of your rate sheet matches your website because you want it to be a seamless, cohesive, professional experience for your potential clients. Then just save it as a PDF and you can send it out to people. If graphic design isn't your passion, well, don't worry because I actually have a service menu template that you can download on my website. It's on the shop page and I'll also link to it down below. It's a template for Canva that makes it super easy to create that beautiful looking rate sheet, especially if you don't have a website yet and you're not super confident in your graphic design skills. Okay, so that's it. Sorry this was a short one today, but ugh. I slept for four hours last night and then I took an hour and a half nap and I feel really weird. And I have improv practice at my house in one hour and 20 minutes and I have to get ready for that now. So I did my best. I still love you. It doesn't mean I don't love you. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any questions, just leave them as comments below. Try to get back to everybody every Wednesday. And also if you have ideas for other videos that you would like to see, just let me know. And uh, that's pretty much it. Okay, watch for deer. Okay, bye. No, they don't tell you about being a YouTuber is it's like, 50% of the job is just messing with the tripod and it's so annoying, I hate it.